Tucked away in the Arctic, this Norwegian archipelago sits at the end of the world, about halfway between mainland Norway and the North Pole. Imagine a place so far north that most of the planet seems south of it. It's cold, isolated, and remote, an airy wilderness that feels like another planet. Welcome to Svalbard, where darkness envelops the land, making survival a daily battle. Could you handle life in a place where the night never ends and danger is always near? Svalbard, a realm beyond the familiar, where frozen winds cut deep and the sun disappears for months. The cold is relentless, the isolation haunting. Join us as we explore the harsh, captivating realities of this arctic wilderness where every moment feels borrowed from the abyss. Number 10. Allowed to carry guns outdoors. Svalbard has unique laws regarding firearms which was introduced in the year 2012 due to the presence of 3000 polar bears around which is more than the human population and these bears can pose a real threat especially outside of the main settlement areas like Longyearbyen. As a result, carrying firearms outdoors is not only permitted but often encouraged for safety. Visitors can obtain firearms but need a permit and must demonstrate they can handle the weapon because out there danger is always close. While firearms are allowed outdoors, there are strict regulations governing their use. Anyone wishing to carry a gun must adhere to Norwegian firearm laws which are extended to Svalbard. Number 9. 24/7 darkness for months. Svalbard, an archipelago located in the Arctic Ocean, experiences an extraordinary natural phenomenon called the polar night where the sun does not rise for several months. This period of continuous darkness begins in late October and lasts until mid-February, peaking around the winter solstice in December. The archipelago's main settlement, Longyearbyen, lies at 78 degrees north latitude, making it one of the northernmost inhabited areas in the world. During these months, the sun remains below the horizon for 24 hours a day. While the sky is often pitch black, Residents and visitors may experience civil twilight, a period where the sun is just below the horizon and provides a faint glow, creating a deep blue or purplish light. This can last for a few hours during the middle of the day, particularly in November and January. Number 8. Homes to the Doomsday Seed Vault. Svalbard is home to one of humanity's most enigmatic and crucial lifelines. The Doomsday Seed Vault. Nestled deep within a mountain, this vault isn't just a storage facility, it's an insurance policy for life itself. Its remote arctic location, far from geopolitical chaos, and its frozen, permafrost-covered landscape create the perfect natural deep freeze. Inside, millions of seeds from around the world are safeguarded. waiting for the day they might be needed to resurrect crops if disaster strikes whether it's war climate change or a global catastrophe but it's not just the science there's something eerily poetic about it a world filled with life hidden away in a land where survival itself is a daily struggle where darkness reigns for months and nature's raw power is ever present svalbard the cold Silent wilderness cradles the future of life within its icy grasp waiting for the unknown. What are your thoughts on this fascinating article Walt let us know in the comments below. Number 7 In Svalbard it's illegal to die. This quirky regulation stems from the harsh arctic environment and the island's limited infrastructure particularly in Longyearbyen the largest settlement. The origins of this rule trace back to the early 20th century. In 1918, during the Spanish flu pandemic, several inhabitants died and their bodies were buried in the local cemetery. However, due to Svalbard's permafrost, bodies buried in the ground do not decompose. This means that viruses and diseases could remain preserved in the frozen soil for centuries, posing a potential biohazard. 
Consequently, in 1950, local authorities banned burials on the island to prevent further risks. So, if you're gravely ill or nearing death, you'll be sent to mainland Norway to live or die. It's unsettling and surreal, a place where the living face the stark reality that death doesn't fade into the earth. In Svalbard, even death is captive to the freezing grip of the land, forever held in stasis. Number 6. Svalbard has over 2,100 glaciers. Svalbard, an archipelago located in the Arctic Ocean, is home to over 2,100 glaciers, covering about 60% of its landmass. These glaciers are a defining feature of the region's landscape and play a crucial role in its ecosystem and global climate patterns. Svalbard's glaciers are diverse in size and form. Some of the largest include the Ostfauna ice cap on Nordostlandet, which is one of the largest in the world, covering approximately 8,100 square kilometers. This ice cap alone holds a significant portion of the archipelago's glacial ice. Other notable glaciers include the Kongsvejen and Kronbreen glaciers in the northwest of Spitsbergen, the largest island in the archipelago. As global temperatures rise, these majestic giants are retreating, and their rapid disappearance poses dire consequences for the region's delicate ecosystem. Svalbard is not just a frozen wonderland, it's a chilling indicator of climate change, capturing the paradox of beauty and vulnerability in its icy grasp. Number 5. Frozen Pets Policy Svalbard, a remote archipelago in the Arctic under Norwegian sovereignty, is home to a unique set of regulations and policies concerning frozen pets, which arise from the region's extreme environmental conditions. Svalbard also has strict regulations regarding the health of pets entering the archipelago, particularly dogs. Due to concerns about rabies, pet owners must adhere to vaccination requirements and provide certificates verifying their animals are disease-free before entering Svalbard. This emphasis on disease prevention is especially critical given the limited healthcare infrastructure on the islands. The introduction of non-native species, such as domestic cats, poses significant risks to local wildlife, particularly birds and small mammals that are not adapted to cope with such predators. To maintain biodiversity and protect native species, the Svalbard government has implemented a ban on bringing cats into the territory. As of now, pet owners can only bring dogs to Svalbard under strict conditions. Dogs must be vaccinated against rabies, and owners are required to submit a health certificate issued by a veterinarian. Number 4. Svalbard is one of the safest places in the world. Svalbard, a remote archipelago in the Arctic Ocean, is often regarded as one of the safest places in the world. Gunned by Norway, this unique region is home to approximately 2,500 residents and is known for its low crime rate and overall tranquility. Several factors contribute to Svalbard's reputation for safety. Norwegian law heavily regulates life on Svalbard. The government has established stringent rules to protect both the environment and the community. Although Svalbard welcomes visitors for tourism and research, access is controlled. The islands can only be reached by plane or boat, and those who live and work there are often employed in specific sectors like science, tourism, or mining. The harsh Arctic climate itself acts as a natural deterrent to criminal activity. Surviving in Svalbard requires careful planning, respect for nature, and adherence to local guidelines. Number 3. World's Northernmost Post Office Svalbard, a remote archipelago in the Arctic Ocean, is home to the world's northernmost post office, located in the town of Envialesen on the island of Spitsbergen. Positioned at a latitude of 78 degree 55 n, Envialesen is one of the northernmost settlements on Earth and primarily functions as a research station where scientists from over 20 countries study the Arctic environment climate change, and more. 
The post office in Enviolison is a small, iconic building that serves both the local community of researchers and the few tourists who venture to this remote location. It offers standard postal services like mailing letters and packages, and it's especially popular with tourists who want to send postcards from one of the world's most unique and isolated places. The post office operates seasonally, primarily during the summer months when the town sees the most activity from visiting scientists and travelers. Number 2. Bird Paradise Svalbard, an archipelago in the Arctic Ocean, is renowned as a bird paradise, attracting ornithologists and bird enthusiasts from around the world. Located halfway between mainland Norway and the North Pole, its pristine wilderness offers an ideal habitat for a variety of bird species, especially during the summer months when millions of migratory birds arrive to breed in the region's remote cliffs and shores. The cliffs of Svalbard host large colonies of seabirds, such as the Brunicher's guillemot, little auk, and black-legged kittivake. These birds flock to the steep cliffs in huge numbers, creating one of the most spectacular wildlife displays in the Arctic. One of the most famous locations is Alkivjilit, a dramatic cliff face where tens of thousands of birds nest. The constant activity of birds soaring, diving, and calling is a sight and sound to behold. Additionally, the archipelago is home to the elegant ivory gull, a rare and iconic species that is synonymous with the Arctic wilderness. The Arctic tern, known for its long migratory journey from the Antarctic to the Arctic, also graces the skies above Svalbard during its breeding season. Number 1. Svalbard Treaty No Visa Required In Svalbard, the unique Svalbard Treaty creates a fascinating paradox, no visa is required for entry. Established in 1920, this treaty grants equal rights to all signatory countries, allowing people from around the globe to live and work here without the usual bureaucratic hurdles. This means anyone can arrive, breathe in the crisp Arctic air, and immerse themselves in the stunning, stark beauty of the archipelago. However, the catch lies in the need for self-sufficiency. There are no social welfare systems or support, if you come, you must be prepared to stand on your own two feet. So, while Svalbard invites you in with open arms, it demands resilience and adaptability in return, a truly enchanting blend of freedom and challenge in one of the world's most remote destinations.